Is it a good time to sell your house or should you wait until next year? I want to share a specific strategy with you that will allow you to get the highest price when you sell, but also lock in a lower mortgage payment when you buy. This strategy gives you the best of both worlds. I'll admit this video is a little long, but I wanted it to be as informative as possible. And by the way, I'm a licensed realtor here in Columbia. And if you choose not to work with me and work with another agent, here's my honest advice for 2023. Okay, let's get started. This might surprise a lot of people, but based on recent sales data, here's the truth about selling your home in 2023. I've narrowed it down to three things you need to know before listing your home for sale. I'll be honest, the first one's pretty bad news, but the second two are good. I'll start with the bad news, but keep watching all the way to the end of this video because points number two and three are actually good news. Number one, the bad news is that interest rates are really stinking high. There are three dates, actually down to two, you need to keep in mind if you're thinking of selling your house this year. October 31st through November 1st and December 12th through 13th. These are the official dates that the Federal Reserve is meeting to discuss either raising or lowering interest rates. Now, I don't have a crystal ball, but it's safe to say that rates will remain high for at least the next six months. This is actually an opportunity, and here's why. Normally, people think about interest rates as being great for buyers, but not sellers, because it makes the monthly mortgage payments cheaper. But this also affects sellers, because when buyers have access to cheaper money, they're willing to pay a higher price for the home. This, in a nutshell, is what happened in 2021. Obviously, this is a great thing for sellers too. The problem with the higher rates right now is that when rates were so low during 2021, many people refied at a record low mortgage rate. In fact, almost 85% of homeowners have a mortgage rate that's far below the current rates. They're not super excited about moving if they have to give up 3% mortgage rate for a 7% mortgage rate, duh. Um, this is more than anything what's keeping inventory really low. For buyers wanting to buy in Columbia right now, there's just not many homes to look at. But this is true everywhere, not just here in Columbia. The National Association of Realtors reported there were just 1.1 million homes for sale last month, compared with 1.9 million during the same time in 2019. In other words, there used to be twice as many homes for sale as there are right now. If it feels like there's not many homes on the market, it's because there's not many homes on the market. And that's because of interest rates. So if you wanna sell, you'll still get a great price for your home right now. Home prices are still high here in Columbia. And they're gonna stay that way for the next five to 10 years. I'll explain why in a minute. Which leads me to point number two, and it's actually good news. The second thing to know, which is good news, is that home prices are expected to remain stable and probably even increase over the next several years. There's no crash coming. This is good news because it means you don't need to stress out about waiting and trying to time the market. One of the biggest mistakes I see buyers making here is they want to wait until home prices come down or wait until the interest rates come down. Waiting's not a good strategy. As the old saying goes, don't wait to buy real estate, buy real estate and wait. This is especially true in 2023 because of one simple word, demographics. The largest generation in American history, millennials, are reaching peak home buying age this year. This ensures there's gonna be a strong, consistent demand for homes for at least the next five to 10 years. In other words, prices aren't coming down even when mortgage rates come down, as they're expected to in 2024, home prices won't come down in any major way. If anything, home prices are probably going to increase in 2024. This is why you shouldn't wait because you'll probably pay a higher price. When interest rates become cheaper, people have more purchasing power, and this will bid up the prices of homes. I fully expect to see crazy multiple offer situations again in 2024, when mortgage rates come down. Unfortunately, it'll probably feel like 2021 all over again, which brings to me to my third thing that you need to know and it's specific prediction for 2024. Interest rates will come down, 
competition will go up for homes. This means that it could be harder to buy a house next year than it is this year, even though rates could be lower. This is because there will be more competition next year. We are already seeing this priced into the adjustable rate mortgage market. Usually you get a better deal in the short term on the adjustable rate mortgages, but that's not really true right now. That's because even the mortgage investors know that rates likely will be lower next year. This is why the specific strategy I'm recommending is to buy or sell your home this year, lock in today's home price, and then simply wait until next year, 2024, to refinance the mortgage at a lower rate. This gives you the best of both worlds. You can lock in today's home prices before they continue to increase next year. And then when interest rates drop, you can refi into a lower rate. Let me know if you have any questions. My cell phone number is 573-808-4480.